Greetings all, you probably know me by now, but in case you don't, I'm Jeff, a capable D&D Dungeon Master and manager of the Smart Deploy support team. We have an exciting video for you where we're going to talk about some of the sweet new features of Smart Deploy version 3.0. Unlike our previous updates, version 3 is a complete redesign of Smart Deploy. At least it is under the hood. The user interface is the same as it was, direct and very easy to use. And while the major improvements aren't going to change how you use Smart Deploy, there is still some cool stuff that I want to call out. If you're interested in the backend updates, I have another video where I'll talk about the major architecture overhaul behind the scenes. But for this video, let's get into the new and enhanced features. Now, of course, I'm going to have some screen capture videos where I walk through seeing these new features in action, but I'm excited, so I just want to talk about them a little bit first. The first up is message history. We refer to any deployments that you send to clients as messages, and now you'll be able to view the message status history for any clients in your computer management workspace. This means that you'll be able to look back and see which images, application packs, and driver updates have been sent to a client, and most importantly, if they failed or succeeded. So no more guessing if you've already sent your Office 365 pack to a client. Next is the library rebuild. In the past, you might have found that one or more of your objects weren't appearing in the console. We've added an action to force the console to rescan and populate the different workspaces. We've also added two fields to the computer information that you can view in computer management. If you're planning to deploy an image to a client, but you're unsure if it's being used, you'll be able to see the username of the current logged on user, as well as the last logged on user. Now, you can check in with your user easily without cross-referencing documentation to find out who's using a machine. We've got another big one for you, and that's multiple console users. If you've had the Smart Deploy console installed on your workstation, you can connect to the Smart Deploy console service on your main host at your office and perform deployments. Next, you can now specify if you want your image to come from the local host or from the cloud. This is great for situations where you just want to test a cloud deployment or want to make sure that a client at their home office downloads the image using their bandwidth instead of trying it over your VPN tunnel. To add to this, you can now easily force your clients to use the cloud. This option is in your answer file and when you create your V3 client setup MSI package. The last one I'll mention is related to troubleshooting. We've made our logs easier for everyone to read, and we've added a URL that you can check on your local network to make sure that your Smart Deploy console service host is reachable and that the service is running. And those are the exciting highlights. If you have questions about which features are included in your subscription package, head to smartdeploy.com to view the breakdown and schedule a time with your customer success manager for a quick account review. Upgrading to Smart Deploy 3.0 will take a few steps, which I've outlined in my Smart Deploy V2 to V3 upgrade video. As I mentioned, it's a separate application. If you install V3 on your current V2 host, the V2 console will get a new action added to the actions pane for upgrade to V3. It'll send a job with your new V3 client MSI package that will uninstall V2 and install V3. If you don't want to install version 3 on the same host, that's fine. You'll just have to generate your new client setup MSI package and distribute it to your clients another way. Head to support.smartdeploy.com for self-serve videos and guides before you dig in and stay tuned for more feature-specific videos. As soon as I'm done recording this, I'll get to work on some screen capture videos for these other features so that you can see them in action. But don't wait for me. Smart Deploy is just as easy to use as it always has been. It's kind of like trading your car for the new model, except without the new car smell. And don't forget, you can go to youtube.com slash smart deploy for videos like this and more to help you along the way. Good luck with your deployments, and I'll see you next time.